Assalamualaikum. Hello. Hello, hello. Okay. Um, video ni masih lagi berada di topik 3. To the determination of national income equilibrium. But for this video, I will proceed to 3 sector economy. So, three set economy consists of household, firm, and government. As usual, equilibrium occurs when aggregate demand equals to aggregate supply or leakage equals to injection. Let's look at the flow for this three sector economy. For this one, similar to two set economy, we have household and firm, and you already understand for this flow. But for this three sector, we just add one more agent, which is government. So here, household and firm will pay taxes to the government. And government will contribute to the firm in terms of government expenditure. And government will give the government expen uh, the expenditure to the household in terms of transfer payment. For example, scholarship, job allowance, seeker. Okay, job job allowance, okay, bantuan sara hidup. So, that's the example of transfer payment. Now, let's find, let's look at how to calculate on um, Y. So, Y equals to C plus I plus G. When we have government, of course, tax will... Uh, also have in this sector. So in this three sector economy, we need to focus on two types of tax. First one is autonomous tax. Autonomous refers to the tax, the amount of tax that is independent of income. If income increase or decrease, autonomous tax remain fixed, constant. For example, tax is 100 ringgit. For induced tax, refer to the amount of tax that depends on income. If income increases, include induced tax will increase or vice versa. For example, tax equals to 0.6 Y. Okay, now we use algebra analysis to calculate Y. Same example as previous one. C equals to 200 plus 0.75 YD. Investment is 100. Government expenditure is 50 and tax equals to 100. So now we have C function in terms of YD. First of all, you have to remove YD. Change to only Y. That is the first step. I show this. Uh, I show these tips because in order to reduce your mistake. Okay, so you have to find consumption function or saving function after tax first. And then let's proceed to find Y. So C equals to 0 0.75 YD. And YD you substitute to y minus tax. So here, tax is 100. So you substitute this value, y minus 100. So now, this is equilibrium. You have to expand in order to simplify this. C equals to 200 plus 0 0.75 y minus 75. How to get 75? 0 0.75 y times 100. So you will get 75. And now you calculate as usual, you will get C equals to 125 plus 0 0.75 Y. Now, let's find Y. Y equals to C plus I plus G. So this C, you just copy this. 125 plus 0 0.75 Y. So here, 125 plus 0 0.75 Y plus 100 plus 50. So you just simplify here, you will get 275 plus 0 0.75 Y. So these are two equation. This important for you to sketch diagram. So this one, 75 
line, seven, seven, sorry, 45 degree line Y, and this line is 275 plus 0.75 Y. This is aggregate demand curve. And you just move this unknown to the left hand side and calculate as usual you will get the answer is 1100 this is the equilibrium for this example okay this is the value for y now we look at a diagram how to draw diagram from this uh, this um, answer okay if you look at here we have y axis and also x axis as usual y axis is always for aggregate demand so we have consumption investment government expenditure here and for x axis is national income blue line that i told you before uh, 45 degree line y and the red line is sorry the the, the black line is the um, the the question consumption function before tax 200 plus 0 0.75 yd it's not important i just show to you how to derive the curve y intercept is 200 and the slope is positive so upward sloping when you find the consumption function after tax it could be 125 plus 0 0.75 so logically 125 is below than 200 that's why the red line is below then um, black line and must be par parallel because the slope equal 0 0.75 and when you add c plus i plus g you will get this value 275 plus 0 0.75 y so this one is green line but for your um, for your answer in the final exam if uh, there is a question to draw or sketch the, uh, the, the diagram to show the equilibrium you just draw green line and blue line that's enough and label properly so this one the equilibrium happen when the intersection between blue line and green line here and this is the example 1100 okay so black line and red line no need to draw in your final i just to show you how to how to draw okay that's all for aggregate demand aggregate supply next we go to leakage injection approach okay for leakage injection approach s plus t equals to i plus t so i prefer you use leakage first it's no uh, it's not a problem if you use injection equals to leakage but when you calculate you have to move around and it will increase your mistake and then i prefer you just put leakage equals to injection so you you don't have to move saving function to the left hand side after this all right so if the question is c equals to 200 plus 0.75 yd investment 100 g 50 and tax 100 so for this um, question there is no saving function so you have to derive saving function from consumption function so c equals to 200 plus 0 0.75 yd so you have to change to saving how to change do you still remember c equals to negative 200 plus 0 0.25 yd so here you will get the saving function but we still have yd here we don't know we don't want yd we want to find y so you have to remove yd how to remove it you just substitute y minus t here so s equals to negative 200 plus 0 0.25 in bracket y minus t t here is 100 so you just substitute 100 here and then expand the equation you will get negative 200 
plus 0.25y minus 25. Minus 25 when you uh, multiply 0 0.25 with 100. So here, negative 200 and negative 225, you will get negative 225 plus 0.25y. So this is new equilibrium, new saving function after tax. And this function, this uh, answer, you just substitute in this equation s plus t equals to i plus t. So for s, negative 225 plus 0.25y plus tax. Okay, most of my previous student always forgot to uh, put tax here. You have to put tax here plus 100 equals to i plus t, 100 plus 50. And here you just add negative uh, 225 plus 100, you will get negative 125 plus 0.25 equals to 150. And then you just leave 0.25y on the left hand side and move the negative 125 to the right hand side. And this negative value will change to positive value. So you have to add with 150. So 0.25y equals to 275y equals to 1100. The answer is same if you calculate with aggregate demand, aggregate supply approach. And for diagram, okay, for diagram, the important lines here is the yellow line, which is 150 investment plus government expenditure and the red line is having plus tax negative 125 plus 0 0.25 the red uh, the black line is saving function before tax so this one is negative y intercept is negative 125 and the intersection could be here 1100 0. okay and if we look at on the table just like this. Okay. Mm. Aggregate supply equals to aggregate demand at 1100. So this would be equilibrium. Also, if you use leakage injection approach, saving plus tax, saving 50, tax 100, 150, I plus T, 100 plus 50, also equal. So this is the level of equilibrium. Okay, and then this is the example for the equation. You may try by your own self and I also prepare the answer after this slide. And perhaps you could practice by your own self and try again and again if you don't have, you don't get the um the the correct answer okay i think that's all for this slide this also uh also there the several questions after this slide so you might answer first and i will i will prepare the the sorry you should answer the question and i will prepare the answer and put it in the island okay thank you